Grateful Christmas. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Art. I would love to invite you to Grateful Christmas. This is where I teach you how to create artwork centered around the theme Christmas. Today I'm going to show you how to paint this cute little Christmas penguin that's going to go along with our last week's painting, the polar bear. This is my fourth year doing Grateful Christmas, so I have several Christmas art projects all ready for you to choose from. And from now on, we're gonna be doing Christmas art projects into December. Here's how you can get access to all of these fun videos. Go to createfulart.com, and there you will find Grateful Christmas and how to sign up, and then you'll see all the Christmas art projects and the supplies that you need for them. I'm so glad you're joining me, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, the bell next to it, and go tell your friends. Let's get started. So today we're going to paint a cute penguin that's going to go along with this painting that we painted last week. And this is going to be a three painting series where we have cute polar animals and it's just going to make some really cute decor in our room. Maybe a kid's room or just a playful place in your home. So what I did first here, instead of um, sketching with my paintbrush here because I kind of found that a little bit difficult last week. I just used my watercolor pencil to sketch out my penguin and if you want to get the reference photo to help you sketch out yours you can go ahead and click right here. Alright so for the next step we're going to paint the background and we're going to paint the background the same as this one. So very very similar just that aqua blue color and I'm just outlining my lines here and just like this one I'm going to let my brush strokes be shown I'm not going to over blend and I'm going to start with just the solid blue and then I'll go over it with some of the darker blue to give it more dimension so just take some time to go around your penguin and fill this in with the blue All right so now I'm going to take my blue and I'm going to add some shading in there and this again is going to be mostly white and black um, but the black is going to be on the outside so I actually don't want to have a lot of shading on the outside because I want the penguin to pop out whereas this was white and so it popped out with the dark so I'm going to kind of concentrate along the edges so now I'm going to take my soft flat brush and I'm just going to blend a little bit like I did with this one. I'm just going to go over that and blend it so I don't see the brush strokes so much. You can blend it as much as you want. So now I'm going to make a black so I can make the black part of the penguin. This is the color palette that we are using for this month. You can go ahead and click right here to learn how to mix all of these colors with me by becoming a Create Flart member. And so I'm going to be using blue, green, and red to create the black. So I'm going to be using a lot more blue than I am the green and the red but this is the same color as what's right here and as you can see it looks very black so if you didn't know that you can create black with your paints now you know okay so I'm just going to take my flat brush and I'm going to go along this edge here and I really love using the flat part of my brush to create a really nice edge so this is kind of like the arm of the penguin. So you have this line crease right here. So I'm just going to add some white for now. Okay, and then I'm going to go up to that white. Just so I remember where that line is. Okay, All right, and then I go up against this line. So I'm going to move this over here. And I'm going to create it a little bit more fuzzy. So I'm kind of going into the line here. And then I'm going to come back here so you know they have that little fuzzy chest. Okay, and then I fill this all in. Okay, and then that line comes up and around here. And just to have a little bit more control, I'm going to go down to a smaller brush, a smaller flat about the size of my finger, and go around. Okay, and then this is the hat right here, so I'm just going to kind of let it be more squiggly, softer line. Okay. And 
and then this one I follow that line around the eyes and make it smooth okay and then the hat comes in right here into the face okay and then you can just fill this in with your black and do the same thing just here is the line and here is the arm separation line you just fill in this from where your palm palm of the hat is use this side and fill this all in with the black all right so now we have to fill in all this fuzz and we're gonna add some shadow in here with the blue just like we did here okay so I'm gonna start with my white okay and I'm gonna start getting it down and I had a little tiny bit of blue on my brush okay so just a tiny bit and the reason why I added the blue is because when we go to add the white on top it's going to have um, more of a pop so we're kind of doing this in layers and this is going to create more dimension so it doesn't look flat still gonna be a little bit cartoony because that's the way we're going with this but it's going to have shape so I'm gonna add more of that blue on this side see how I did that and that kind of rounds out this penguin over here okay and I'm going slanted like this because its feathers are kind of slanted that direction okay and then I'll do the same thing on this side and then I come here and I do the same thing Add a little bit more of the blue right here at the top and then I go and I grab my white to go over the top of that okay now I'm just kind of going to go around my beak here um, I have an idea where I want the eyes I'm just going to go over the eyes and the cheeks with my white because they're so small that I'll just add those back in and know where they go Okay, and then I'm going to add a little bit of blue just along this edge here. Okay, and along this edge too. And right here where that hat comes in. Okay, and this does not need to be perfect in any way. So the fun, playful part of this that's going to make it cute is that it's not perfect so while that dries I'm going to start working on this part so what I want is that this to be the light shining and not the crease so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to lighten this area so it's going to be a little bit more of the gray color then I'm going to come in here with some really dark black So this looks more like the crease, okay? And then gray up the sides, okay? So light's hitting those sides. So really this should be the darkest part right here. Okay, that's what I'm saying. And then the outer part should be lightened up. This is the tricky part of the penguin because you want it to have dimension but you also want it to look very black. So that's kind of going along the lines of what I was wanting to do a little bit more with the shadows. And I'm going to let that dry and then if I need to I will play a little bit more with it. Now that this is dry I'm going to go ahead and add in my eyes. And I'm going with the same theme as this so they all look very similar. And I'm going to just make a circle with my small round brush. So you can get creative with this part. You can put on eyelashes. You can make your um, penguin have closer eyes or further eyes. You can just make it a solid black circle just to kind of make it look like your own. I'm going to add a little white dot so they kind of match here. 
and I'm going to put the white dot over here on this side this time and then I have to put mine in the same spot over here then I need to put in my beak and the tricky part here is that as you can see on my palette I don't have an orange so I'm going to mix my bright red with my gold because I'm using a limited palette it's starting to turn over to the orange okay, and then I'm just gonna follow this line right here and fill it in so I have this point at the bottom and it's fatter at the top now I'm gonna take a little bit of white on my dirty brush and I'm just gonna add a little bit on the edge here I skipped a little bit of the line and then I'm going to do some of the dark color on the edge of the beak so that it also has some dimension so right along the edge and that'll make the beak pop out a little bit more okay also to add a little more dimension I'm going to take this black here just water it down quite a bit and add just a little bit of it right through here to separate that space kind of like I did right over here okay and then I'm going to start doing the pom-pom so I'm taking this blackish gray color I'm going on the very outside with kind of a scratchy motion with my flat brush okay going all the way to the top and all the way around and then I'm going to take my black right over here and put in some shadow right through here and notice how I'm trying to make it look fluffy by going back and forth with my brush and I'm going to put in some shadow down here right up against that black and on the sides come down here and give this shadow and come along the sides here on the outside leaving some white just around here and I'm gonna dig into my light blue for a second and go around this eye just like I did right here and go right under it with a little cheek Okay, go around the eye, gives it some dimension, might add a little bit of blue, okay, and then I wanted to put in some rosy cheeks, okay, so I'm going to just take this bright red, and just to kind of make it cuter, I'm going to put it in a circle right here, okay. I took off some of the color on my brush so it would be a little more translucent. This is optional, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. See how it's coming together and looking really cute? Okay, then we have the hat. So for the hat, I'm going to start with the dark colors. So I'm going to start with the dark red. And I'm going to go right here up against this with that dark red. Okay, and I'm going to let it kind of go in. So I turned my brush this way because I found that I was making too much of a straight line and I want this to look fluffy. So I'm coming in here along this edge, letting it be fluffy. Okay, and then there's a line that separates this piece from here. And then I'm going to outline it. So I'm going to start at this top, go around, and then around this also we'll have some darker colors. Doesn't have to go all the way around. And then up against the face. So now I'm going to grab my bright red come in here and fill in this other area and 
I'm going to just take from that dark red a little bit and let it blend up. But as I get closer, I want to stop taking from that dark red closer to the top here. I'm just going to carry this on, filling in this area. And then right above this is shadowy. Right now I'm going to add some more dimension into the, the soft fluffy cotton here. So I'm grabbing some blue and just like this over here I'm going to add some dimension with that blue going around the edges here. Come in with it. Now I'm going to grab my white, kind of blend it in together but not over blend. Okay and the same up here. Move in the blue, so it kind of matchy matches with this one over here. It's not so when you're happy with it, the last thing that you need to do is put in your snowflakes, and I just do those with a couple dots, and then I'm going to make sure that I have some that are just kind of fun. So just make my six lines coming out of my dot, and I decorate them however I wish. I do not worry about them being perfect lines or anything like that. And the other ones I just make big and small and you can do your snow however you want. When you're done putting on your finishing details and putting your personality into your work, go ahead and sign it and you are done. Look at how cute these look together. Let me know in the comments what you think will be the next painting to go along with this series. What animal we're going to paint next. If you have any questions, also leave them in the comments. You can get weekly art lessons from me that will help you become a better artist. Go ahead and click right here. You also get the reference photos for these paintings as well as our color mixing videos. And once you've clicked over there and become a member, go ahead and watch some more of my videos. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!